The Polestar 2 and the Volvo XC40 Recharge P8 Electric may come from different brands, but they share much of the same DNA. In this video, I'll highlight the similarities and differences between these two and show you which of these sexy siblings you should take home. I've been making a series of videos comparing the Polestar 2 to its competitors, and I had to see how it stacks up against the all-electric Volvo XC40 Recharge P8. While these cars are marketed under different brands, they share much of the same DNA in their components, styling, and technologies. These siblings are both built on the compact modular architecture platform from Volvo. On this platform, both have a 78 kilowatt hour battery placed on the floor, creating rigidity and stability. They also share the same two motors, providing all wheel drive capability and delivering similar horsepower and torque numbers. With the same performance specs, the towing capacity is also identical. Inside, many components are taken from a common parts bin. The steering wheel, stocks, and buttons all feel familiar between the two. Compared to Polestar's freestanding screen, the XC40's is integrated into the dashboard, but both are touchscreens and run on Google Android. It's not just parts that are common, but the attention to detail and level of finish and quality are consistent. Being part of the Volvo family, they have the latest tech and safety features. On the exterior, both get the instantly recognizable Porsche Hammer lights. While they clearly have different body shapes, both share a design aesthetic that produces boldly styled vehicles that are striking and attractive, making these siblings quite sexy. Now, they may look different, but surprisingly, they cost about the same. The XC40 does have a lower starting price, but when you do an Apple to Apple's comparison, it comes within a few thousand dollars of the well-equipped base Polestar. That was unexpected for me because for a subcompact SUV like the XC40, that's a pretty high price point. But I imagine that's a result of the high cost of the batteries. Now siblings may share the same DNA, but often they will have quite different personalities. And so it is with the XC40 Recharge and the Polestar 2, which are different in many ways. In addition to the Volvo DNA, the Polestar 2 gets a healthy injection of Polestar DNA. Before it was spun out as a standalone company, Polestar was the racing arm of Volvo. This race DNA makes the Polestar 2's drive spirited and fun. 0 to 60 is in 4.45 seconds, a fraction of a second faster than the equally impressive 4.7 seconds from the XC40. The firm suspension of the Polestar 2 is typical of what you'd expect in a race car. In addition to a performance profile, the Polestar also distinguishes itself with an upscale luxury that has a focus on sustainability. The XC40's interior is nicely finished with Napa leather, Alcantara, and aluminum trim, a luxury aesthetic that is typical for many premium vehicles. On the other hand, the Polestar's interior includes a panoramic glass roof, reconstructed wood, and vegan finishes like WeaveTech, which is made from recycled materials. That idea of upscale luxury also extends into how you buy the car, by visiting designer Polestar spaces instead of your local dealer. Where Polestar focuses on performance and sustainable luxury, the XC40's strength is in versatility and utility. Inside, you'll find a number of thoughtful features like a removable trash can, a space for your laptop, and a hook for your takeout or bag. But versatility is not limited to the inside. With a much higher ground clearance than the Polestar and an off-road mode, it offers the ability to traverse multiple terrains. To carry all the equipment for your active lifestyle, the XC40 with its tall profile has significantly more cargo space than the Polestar 2. Speaking of profile, clearly these two have different body styles. The Polestar is a raised up sedan with a fastback profile, while the XC40 is a subcompact SUV. With its shorter dimensions, the XC40 is well suited for urban areas with tight parking spots. A slightly tighter turning radius also helps getting around the city easier. But the different body styles have an impact on an important factor in electric cars, range. The Polestar 2 was designed from the ground up as an electric car and much thought was given to aerodynamics. This results in an impressive drag coefficient of 0.278. 
The XC40, on the other hand, uses the same SUV body as the gas engine version, except for the covered grille. Despite the improved aerodynamics with the covered grille, the drag coefficient is a much higher 0.34. Combined with the XC40's slightly heavier weight, the result is decreased fuel economy and an electric range that is about 10% less than that of the Polestar 2. So, which of these sexy siblings should you take home? Well, the answer depends on what's in your genes. If you have the racing gene, the Polestar may be a better match for you. On the other hand, if you're an urban dweller with an active lifestyle gene, perhaps the XC40 is for you. And if you've got the big love gene, take home both and have yourself a Swedish menage a trois. But remember, if you take home the Volvo, this might be more than just a short affair, because as the slogan goes, Volvo is for life. Thank you for watching. Please give the video a like, share your comments, and subscribe to the channel.